Most of our pigs, they never go outside on some factory farms. They have nothing to do. They've got barely any space. They can't even move. Here on this farm, they're all raised outdoors. They get to wallow and forage. They're, they get to behave like pigs. In 2019, we had a brainstorm on how we can use AI technology to significantly reduce avoidable animal suffering. And a logical place to start were slaughterhouses because they already have surveillance cameras. And we thought, why not use AI to make these traditional surveillance cameras into smart surveillance cameras? When I first heard from uh, Deloitte that they were interested in starting an artificial intelligence camera system for slaughterhouses, I thought, this is terrific. Finally, it's more than just small NGOs that want to make a real difference for farm animal welfare during slaughter. We trained the algorithms from scratch. So we first had to teach the algorithms what is a pig, what is a person, what is a stunner. That was the technical part, that's what we do as Deloitte. Then there's a second part, and that's when is a risk situation in terms of animal welfare. And that's why we really work closely together with the Dierenbescherming, Eyes on Animals and Fion. Fion, they were a big part of taking this from ideation to production in now over 20 slaughterhouses across multiple countries. We produce pork meat and beef, and we export worldwide. We have several slaughter locations in the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany. And more than 10 years ago, we installed already the cameras and that resulted per day in hundreds of hours of footage. So we were looking at 30 minutes in total of footage. And because it was randomly, there was a big chance to miss relevant issues. And with the uh, use of the AI, the footage is sent to the server. We train the algorithms to make a selection of footage of abnormalities, of deviations potential deviations are put in the dashboard. And the next day, my quality assurance colleagues, they see only relevant footage. We've got quite a good rapport with several slaughterhouses that allow us to come in and also look at their images. And now I don't have to spend 20 hours looking at images. I can go there and just see what's been filtered out by the AI system and give my advice to the slaughterhouse. If one animal of the group is behind, because it's curious, because it's lame, because it's stressed, the footage is selected. And we monitor if the way of working is according to procedures. People need to take care directly for that individual animal. By using the selected footage, we can also train the staff involved. When people see their own actions at the TV screen, they have a perfect reflection on their work. And they see, okay, now I know how to improve my way of working. When we roll it out in all the Dutch locations, we discovered that the use of the pedal, a riddling a sound making device, resulted in more bottlenecks. It's a moment of stress for the animals. We stopped using the pedal and it resulted in less bottlenecks, but also the environment is way less noisy. They've actually changed their ways of working and we see the decrease in number of bottlenecks over a year that that resulted in. We're already seeing the impact of uh, AI being applied to animal welfare, and the potential of that, I think, is huge. Our AI platform is built on AWS, and we use their latest innovations to really shorten the time to production, which in the beginning of AI for animals took us about a year, and now it's a question of weeks. I strongly recommend other starter companies worldwide to also start using this system, because uh, then you can learn from each other.